God, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for tuning in this week. So I have a lot of stuff to tell you. Obviously, um, this guy. This is my symptom. Uh, Mom hates it, but that's okay. <laughs> the experience was amazing. It was painless, virtually painless to me. Um, I actually was anticipating it to be quite worse because I just haven't had a piercing in a very long time. So I was amping myself up and I'm just like, you know, crapping my pants. I have my best friend by my side and she's trying to help me, you know, relax myself. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm getting a freaking piercing in my nose, like where I pick it. Just kidding. It was really, really quick, and um, I was honestly, like I said, amping myself up for so much worse. And when I was actually laying on the table waiting for him to pierce it, he just kind of went for it, didn't really give me a whole lot of notice. And I was like, this literally, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But then he had finished, and I was just like, like, that's it like kind of thing and he's like yeah the the, the drill is in already and i was like feeling pretty good after that i was like i look so cool and didn't even hurt after care wise i just use water with a q-tip just to kind of clean out the old the old nostrils sure there's no bears in the cave basically as soon as i got out of there no pain at all usually when i've gotten other piercings before they've been somewhat painful for like the first couple hours the only thing i find is that i get this little weird pain like right in here almost like there's a scab or something and it's it's just the weirdest feeling, but I hate it, and I immediately, like, I grab a Q-tip, and I just scoop, make sure that there's nothing there. I'm just like, uh, because uh, uh, it's such a weird feeling, and it makes my, my, um, my eyes cry. Overall, great experience. Love the way it, uh, turned out. It was pretty much exactly what I had pictured that I wanted, and thank you, Mike, from Tantrix. And secondly, um, I did post a picture of me on Instagram, and I believe Facebook, Twitter, of my favorite St. Tropez products that I use. The Saint Tropez Self Tan Dark Bronzing Mousse. This is the guy that I usually use um, if I am going to do like a full body tan that I want to last for about seven to ten days. Um, it's super super dark. It's a little bit darker than this one and I actually just tried this one out for the very first time tonight and I absolutely love it. Um, I do like the formula a little bit better than the um, self than the dark bronzing mousse because it's a lot lighter. And like smoothing it onto my skin is a lot easier. Like it literally was a breeze. It maybe took me 10 minutes to do my entire body. And usually with the um, dark tanning mousse, it takes me about twice the time just because I have to constantly be smoothing it or I really like the formula of this better. I love the tan that you get from the uh, dark tanning mousse, but I do love the formula for this. Uh, third thing, um, I just wanted to tell you guys how much I love my Scentsy. <laughs> it's in right now and oh god, it's good. This is the Scentsy that I have in right now. It's called Whiteout. It's a really, really nice um, Christmassy scent. Like it's a little bit of a minty <laughs> so it's like literally just right here. They smell so good and it's just nice to come home to a Scentsy because then your house just smells really nice. It's kind of turning into like a favorites video but really I'm just trying to update you on my life since last week because a lot of things have changed. Another thing is my nails. She did an amazing job. They look super natural to me. I've gotten a ton of compliments and being like what nail polish do you use? Like your, your nails look so good. How do you keep them that way? I'm like they're fake. And then usually they're like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, sorry. I can't keep nails like this. I would never be able to. And that's why I do get gel because I don't like to, I don't like to bite. Hi, my name's Brooke and I'm a biter. Oh my God. Let's, try, let's try this again. Hi, my name's Brooke and I'm a nail biter. For any of you young kids, you probably have no idea what I just meant, so. 
that way. Like I said, I can never keep nails like this. So um, yeah, her name is Lady Jade. I'm gonna link her Instagram if I can in the bottom bar. She's amazing. This girl was born to do nails. And also, um, I just posted a video on Instagram uh, what it feels like when I have a good brow day and I was literally just kind of dancing it up in my chair. For that, I have to thank my brow babe, Lizzie Wiggins. She just works out of the polished beauty salon, I wanna say. I'll get my organic tan here once in a while, like an organic spray tan. has a beautiful outcome and I've never had something you know like turn out so well like a spray tan like that Lizzie will actually spray it onto you which I think I like better and she's really a professional about it as well so I would definitely check her out I'll leave her Instagram below as well she is the brow babe girlfriend and she knows how to put on a tan too so if you're in the Saskatoon area definitely hit up those two girls they are really talented and really hard-working ladies and they put a lot of passion into um, their work so yeah check them out all right so let's get to our <laughs> our hair tutorial Woo! the reason I like to wear extensions is because I like the extra <laughs> the extra volume that it gives me honestly I got these so long ago I got these probably two years ago I'm not even sure of where what the website I got them from I did get them cut significantly to my hair length because I just want volume, like I said, I'm not looking for more length. Well, the products that I've been using um, in conjunction with these extensions and just with my hair in general, I use the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo and then I have the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Conditioner. So these are what I've been using forever, obviously, because these are significantly big. Um, my hair in the back specifically right here. It gets quite oily and it feels like there's a lot of product buildup even though I don't use a lot of product. Um, it's been really good since I basically dyed my hair with box dye. I haven't really had any issues. It's always been obviously a little bit greasy which is eh, but a lot better than what it used to be. What's helped that also is I use this Matrix clarifying shampoo and this has really helped. Whenever I feel like I'm getting a lot of product buildup in this area, I just lather this in my roots. I don't bring it down anywhere else. I literally just put it in just on the root in the scalp of my head uh, because I do have color here and that is only semi-permanent so I don't want to be putting clarifying shampoo on that because it will just completely strip the color and that's just not something that I want. And then I just take my regular uh, Bob Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo on the rest of my hair. And those days where you are having that greasy hair and you do not feel like washing it because you are tired, lazy, or you are just on the go, you need to go right now, no time for showering, I love the Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo. I have the Tropical one and I actually got this from Shoppers. It was on clearance for $1.99 and it was my first time trying this so I was like what a great price to try something new. Usually these retail for about $8.99 and I've been getting them really cheap. So yeah, if you guys want to try the Batiste Dry Shampoo, definitely go to Winners or uh, Shoppers because sometimes they'll have them on clearance. Yeah, I've been loving these guys. They saved my life. I literally just spray them right on my roots and it makes all of the greasiness go away. For when I'm actually going to style my hair, I've been using the Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protective Spray. And this I just basically put all over my hair. And then I also, really, really important to treat your extensions like your hair because it is real hair, it's just dead. Hello. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Chi um, Thermal Spray on this as well because you want them to last as long as you can and the better care you take of them, the longer they're gonna last. And as for washing, you don't need to wash extensions like you wash your hair, not every other day. That's actually gonna dry the crap out of them. It totally depends how much you wear them though. If you're wearing them like every day, you'd probably wanna do it like once a week. Whereas if you're only wearing them once or twice a week, maybe every three weeks. And another thing, Extensions do shed. It's just a part of life. It's dead hair. It's going to shed. Your hair sheds. This hair sheds. Don't be discouraged if you find hair everywhere because that's just the 
great part of hair. The tool that I'm gonna be using to curl my hair is the uh, this Revlon curler. It's not bad. Um, I just I just really like the size of it because it's quite wide. I believe it's like a one and a half inch or a one inch. So it's gonna give me really natural curls. And I'm gonna be taking this uh, teasing comb to put in my extensions. Let's get on with it. Okay, so now we're just going to put on our thermal protectant spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my hair and then I'm going to brush it out and make sure there are no tangles or anything in it to prepare our hair for extensions. So now what I'm doing is I'm just sectioning off quite a bit of my hair because I'm only going to leave a little bit on the nape of my neck to put the smaller wefts in and then I'm just taking my thermal spray and just spraying them down making sure they get no heat damage. And now I'm just taking a teasing comb and this is going to help keep the pieces in. It's going to provide a foundation for them to um, stay on, but overall these, these uh, extensions stand pretty well, but that's just an extra precaution I like to take. So I'm just, I just kind of wiggle it around a little bit and then I clip it in. So as you can see, I basically just do the same thing over and over again. I spray my hair with protective spray, tease my hair, and then clip in my extensions. As I go higher onto my head, the wefts get a lot wider because the nape is gonna be really narrow and then the middle it's gonna get quite uh, wide and then the very last one that I put, like the third, uh, weft that I put on the back of my head is going to be uh, the second largest. And here I'm just fixing and adjusting. So um, now I'm going to be putting the extensions on the side of my head to even out the volume and length. And here it really is important to properly tease the hair on the side because you literally have no base. So I really, really like to tease it quite a lot on the side so that it stays in all day. And then just here is my last piece that I'm going to put on my head. And then we are done putting in the extensions and now I am just brushing out my hair. And that is how my hair looks like when I have extensions. So quite a lot more fuller, more hair. I love it. <laughs> and now I'm just putting in some of my Batiste dry shampoo just in the back. Uh, this is the double XL volume one. So it gives me a little bit of volume and also makes my hair look not so greasy. Now I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm gonna be doing like little pieces, big pieces because then that's how you kind of get more volume playing with different amounts of hair. And then also I will be taking my hair one way, uh, curling it inwards and then the next piece I'll curl it outwards. And that also will create a lot more volume. So basically you'll see I'll just be doing this throughout the entire video but I usually hold the hair for about 10 seconds in the curler and if you haven't noticed already I know that I don't hold the I don't curl my hair like you actually should with a normal curler because I just don't know how so I just treat it as a wand and then I just use the clip like as a guide basically and it just helps to keep the um, hair in but yeah this is the way that works for me this is the way that I do it so zero judgment zone here people <laughs> So I literally just spared you guys a bunch of agonizing hours watching me curl my hair. So I am pretty much done the other side of my hair by this point right now. And now we can just get on to the after styling. All right, so we're finally done. Uh, I have no patience, so that's why I never end up curling my hair. But nonetheless, now I'm just gonna go through this side of my hair and just comb it out. It's a little naughty. <laughs> See how big it looks and like voluptuous? Oh, I just love it. 
That's pretty much the extent of my hair capabilities. <laughs> My next trick is to use a comb like such and what I like to do is I just like to basically go random parts of the hair and just kind of um, basically back comb it. I like doing it this way because then you're kind of getting just this huge hair. So I'm just going to keep kind of doing this in random places. Alright, so this is the final look, I guess you could say. Obviously, you just use some hairspray and lots of it to uh, keep the curl. This is one that I use. This is by Tresemme. It's the Tray 2 number 5. So it's like the extra, extra, extra hold. Like it's going to freeze your hair. <laughs> so this is one that I use, and I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm not going anywhere, so that's why I'm not you know, hairspraying the crap out of it right now, but if I was, I would totally be doing that. This is what it looks like. I'm really happy actually with how it came out. I didn't think it would look this good. <laughs> Real confidence in myself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in again this week. Sorry if you guys are wanting a hair or a makeup tutorial. I'll definitely get on that for next week. I just really wanted to do a hair tutorial and a little bit of an update for you guys and what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, so give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much. Even if you don't watch them all the time, that's okay. Just please subscribe. I'm <laughs> so desperate. <laughs> no, I'd actually love you to watch my videos if you're gonna subscribe. If not, then you're gonna hurt my feelings. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And I hope you liked this tutorial thingy. I just, I like doing things that are easy for me because I know that other people out there are like, oh, I can do that too. Like. Ah, uh, thank you. Wow, I say thank you a lot. Just the Canadian in me. I'm so polite. Thanks again for watching. Hugs from me to you. Bear hugs. Bear hugs. Bye, guys. Yeah.